Hey guys, it is Cheesy here, and today I'm bringing you a video on some updated benchmarks. Now, I made one a while back in 2015, however, with the turn of the new year and a bunch of new games coming out, I've decided to make an updated benchmark video. So, obviously, as you can read in the title and in the thumbnail, I'm using a AMD FX 8350 and GTX 960. I have a 2 gigabyte GTX 960, and it's it's one from EVGA. It says it's super super clocked, so it might be a bit faster than others. But I have a feeling it's just like any other two gigabyte GTX 960. And my FX 8350 has four gigahertz of clock speed. So I'm uh, getting into the video soon. I've tested a couple of games that some of them are really high are demanding on um, my parts, and some of them aren't. But getting into the video, we first have Fallout 4. Now I'm running the game with mods, so it like some of the mods are higher like texture mods that put a bit more demand on the graphics card, but usually I get 47 to 72 FPS with an average of 60. However, when I play for more than two hours, which is easy to achieve with a massive game like Fallout 4, I get lag spikes that can be down to 20 FPS. Now, usually I fixed this just by stopping the game re and well closing the game and then restarting it about five minutes later, and so it's not really big of an issue. However, uh, two hours isn't that much of a long time, and so to be getting lag spikes um, in, after just two hours of playing can sometimes be annoying. But next up we have CS:GO. Uh, I get about 130 to 160 FPS. Um, I have the settings all maxed out. And by the way, in Fallout, I have essentially all ultra settings. But yeah, in CSGO, I have all the settings maxed out, and I'm able to play the game smoothly. I'd never even notice a hitch. Uh, and I'm also running on a 144Hz monitor, so the game's really smooth. So you shouldn't have any trouble running CSGO. And then next up, we have Rise of the Tomb Raider, which just came out today. You saw some gameplay of it earlier. It, yeah, it literally came out today, and the gameplay I shot and the benchmark I took was literally from today, but um, I got a low about, of about 51 FPS. My settings were about, um, a couple of them were medium, medium, but they were mostly high. I had about eight times uh, filtering and stuff, but the game looks very nice and I was able to get uh, 51 to 84 FPS with an average of 68. So um, this game only came out, as I said, today, and so the fact that some old, some relatively old equipment is still running the newest games at 68 FPS is pretty good. So you'll have no trouble running some new games like Rise of the Tomb Raider. Next up we have Grand Theft Auto V. Um, there are some weird laggy spikes when you have a lot of mods installed, but um, like running a game with only a few mods or just no mods, you should get around 54 to 65 FPS with an average of 60 on the dot. Um, I played a lot of Grand Theft Auto V and I've had no issues with it. A couple of crashing when I have a lot of mods, but you shouldn't uh, worry about your performance with Grand Theft Auto V. Next up we have Star Wars Battlefront. Um, I really enjoyed this game. I haven't played much of it at all though. Um, and with all high settings, I got a low of 51 to a high of 64 with an average of 58. I had no issues while running this game. Um, Maybe a little bit of noticeable frame drops, but you shouldn't really be bothered too much. So that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, if I missed anything, just feel free to comment. And if you're interested in any of these videos, I guess, uh, just feel free to subscribe. In any of these games, feel free to, feel free to subscribe, excuse me. But, um, because I don't know, I've been, I'll be making some more videos besides the regular Battlefield ones. So thanks for watching, guys. I should have a setup video soon if you want to see my updated uh, specs, but I'll see you later, guys. Bye.